Caprice and this and that. I said, all right, man. He said, man, this time I want to talk to him. So I said, all right, no problem. So I had a deal. I had a deal with the kid Andre for about two hundred seventy. Okay. Two, about two hundred seventy thousand. This day he wanted some. He wanted some drugs. So I said, yo, we killed two birds with one stone. I'm going to meet him, take care of this business with him, and you can talk to him at the same time. Okay. So, uh, so I go meet the kid. Produced by. We go meet the kid at my production. favorite spot over there, on Minnesota and Pennsylvania Avenue, over there by Amber. I goes. I told Gary. I said, just chill, man. Let me go talk to him. I have a five point this day. I said, let me go talk to him, and then you come. So I got into the truck. I told the kid, Andre, I said, what's up, man? I said, everything all right? He said, yeah. I said, well, what's going on, man? You, you bad? He said, nah, this and that. So my man Gary, here come my man Gary. As I'm talking to the kids, the kid Andre jumped into the back of the caravan to go uh, to go get the money out and all that. Okay. And uh, I was over in the passenger seat. So my man Gary, he comes from out my car, which he was in the passenger seat, and comes around through the driver's side to the empty seat. So the kid Andre is coming from the back seat to the middle seat now with the bag of money. Mm -hmm. So as soon as he, the kid Andre turns around to look at me and let me know that the bag that my man Gary is coming in the car and hit him right in the head. Boom! My man Gary was strapped all the time. He knew he was going to kill him, but he knew not to tell me because I was going to tell him, no, don't do that. So now I'm like, oh, Gary, what the hell? He's like, yo, man, what the hell with that dude, man? He was this and that, this is bad. I said, all right. But in my mind, I'm saying, yeah, you right. Because now... Now I got the girl all to myself, so we killed two birds. I'm saying I'm gonna miss the money, but I got I got the girl now too. Well, I got the 270 now, so I take the money. I said, man, what the hell? I take the money. He had a Rolex on. We left all that. We, I said, man, follow me in the car, man. Go, go. I said, here, here, take this bag, take the car, follow me. So we drove about five, six blocks away from that area, right? And like in a residential area, a nice quiet block. I just threw him down on the floor, wiped off everything that we touched and all that. And just left him there. And they found him like two days later, three days later, because from the, from the stench of the body and all that. Because it was like summertime, so his body started stinking and they found him. Did the girl think that you did that? No, she didn't think it at first, because the same, she beat me. As soon as she found out, it was like, yo, they killed Andre, she cried. So, you know, I'm like, hold on, boo-boo, don't worry about it. <laughs> We're going to find out who did that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going over there, comforting her and telling her to calm down and this and that. And so now we got that 270. And uh, I gave my man a hundred thousand. I keep one seventy. And uh, that was that on that one. That was that on that one. Yeah, he was. He violated as far as my man telling him to stay away from his uh, his daughter's mother. And he wouldn't listen. Yeah. How many are you actually charged with? Fourteen. Fourteen homicides. Fourteen murders. Yeah. Which are they? Seven or eight in New in, in in D.C. and the rest was in New York. Like some of the stick up kids. Okay. And. So how'd they find out about the stick up kids in New York? Well, that's what I'm seeing. But now, now my situation, now we get into that, my situation. Now, I want to take this opportunity to just, two rumors that was always around about, and uh, make sure make sure this goes in there, Antoine. Okay. Two rumors that was always out about me, that one was, I don't know if you ever, that I was dying of AIDS in prison. I heard that one. Okay. That's false. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm healthier than I ever was. Okay. And the other one, a lot of people... Poe is snitching, Poe is telling. Yes. If that's what you want to call it, then that's what you call it. But Poe calls it looking out for Poe. Okay. I'm, I'm doing what I got to do for me. And, 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 and for the people that read this and read the article, oh, or, 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 the, or the once upon a time friends that I thought I had, and they look at it and say, oh, Poe went out like a sucker, or Poe went out like this. In life, in life you make choices. And sometimes those choices are good and they're bad. You follow me? I follow you. But, and I thought at the time when I, when I did what I had to do for, 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 for me, I thought, I, I definitely had to, I definitely had to, to understand that, yo, what I'm doing ain't right, but that's what I needed to do for me. Right. I've truly come to accept that I made the right choice.